Why do people still debate why the Civil War was fought? Why is it so easy for people to believe the worst of black people? Why did people watch a black man die under the knee of a white cop and still blame the black man? Because of people like the Daughters of the Confederacy. We talked about them. They were responsible for the history books that I grew up with, the erroneous information in that history book. Because of Moms for Liberty, who are intentionally misrepresenting CRT in books by LGBTQIA authors and movies about Ruby Bridges, and because of things like the Dunning School. Yeah, let's talk about the Dunning School. The Dunning School was a historiographical school of thought regarding the Reconstruction period of American history, supporting conservative elements against the radical Republicans who introduced civil rights in the South, civil rights to black people. Now, we had a high-level discussion of Reconstruction, but if you want a deeper discussion, head on over to my Patreon and follow the Linktree link in my bio. Okay? Now, the Dunning School was named for Columbia University professor William Archibald Dunning. Dunning was the first scholar to promote the narrative that Reconstruction was a ploy by radical Republicans to take over the southern states, forcing northern rule over the good people of the South. He argued that the South was a victim throughout the war and the emancipation of enslaved people was just one of many efforts by the Republicans to gain voters. Dunning did not believe in the inherent equality of man, but he believed in white supremacy. Dunning worked to justify white supremacy and support Jim Crow practices of segregation. Now, he claimed that slavery was the only way the two races would live in harmony and that the nation was now in a state of confusion that could only be remediated by returning to a system that produced the same racial inequality as slavery. And what system produced the same inequality as slavery? Jim Crow. Yeah. The Dunning School train of thought was that the Union was bad, black people were ignorant and inferior, and that the worst thing the Union ever did was elevate the Negro to the same level as white people. The Dunning School of Thought can be classified as an ideology that swept through American history between the 1890s to 1950s. It advocated for white supremacy, Southern victimhood, and the white experience of slavery, the Civil War, and Reconstruction. Such a legacy would affect more than just its immediate audience. Racist histories would influence public perception and media interpretation. The perfect example is D.W. Griffith's A Birth of a Nation. You remember that movie. It portrayed black Americans as um, violators and monsters, and this in turn glorified the KKK as heroes against such horrors. Historian Eric Fawner 
Okay, you need to read his book, Reconstruction, as well as W.E.B. Du Bois' book, Reconstruction. Uh, actually, his book is called Black Reconstruction. Both of their books are extremely thick. W.E.B. Du Bois' Black Reconstruction is very wordy, but read them at the same time. It is worth it. Okay? Okay. Now, historian Eric Foner. Um, a leading history or a leading reconstruction specialist said the traditional or dunning school of reconstruction was not just an interpretation of history it was part of the edifice of the jim crow system it was an explanation for and justification of taking the right to vote away from black people on the grounds that they completely abused it during Reconstruction. It was a justification for the white South resisting outside efforts in changing race relations because of the worrying of having another Reconstruction. All of the alleged horrors of Reconstruction helped to freeze the minds of the white South in resistance to any change whatsoever. And it was only after the Civil Rights Revolution swept away the racist underpinnings of that old view, i.e. that black people are incapable of taking part in American democracy, that you could get a new view of Reconstruction wide, widely accepted. For a long time, it was an intellectual straitjacket for much of the white South, and historians have a lot to answer for in helping to propagate a racist system in this country. Because Southern historians held up, justified, they helped to justify that racist belief that Reconstruction was the North violating the South for their own means and using black people to do it. That black people were inferior and unworthy of the positions that they claimed during Reconstruction. Some of them being representatives, some of them being senators, taking positions in Southern government. Meanwhile, white Southern, white Southern Democrats are no longer in position of power. And now they feel oppressed and abused. They're not seeing it from the position of, you literally started a war so you could keep enslaved black people. Jean Edward Smith wrote that the Dunning School depicted blacks as inherently incapable of meaningful political participation, while terrorist organizations such as the KKK were applauded for their efforts to restore the South's natural order, with white people as the superior. Yeah. Referring to the racist rants of the Dunning School, Smith noted that the influence of the Civil Rights Movement of the 50s and 60s consigned the Dunning School to the Museum of Historical Artifacts. Yeah, because the Civil Rights Movement of the 50s and 60s demanded that black people be treated as equal and receive the same things that everybody else was getting. Yes, 